a West Indian, if you call yourself a Haitian, a Dominican, a Mexican, a Cuban, you still dead. Because you don't know who you are, you know? Yeah, and you know what? It, it, you can tell this is not talking about spiritually dead. I mean, actually dead, because when the word congregate means to stand together. So how can you stand and you're physically dead? You know? Yeah, that'd be fucked up, yeah. You know? So, <laughs> you want some out? Yeah. And we'll jump back to that, uh, that, that, uh, that Deuteronomy. Yeah. This is, uh, just to back you up about the uh, difference between us. This is Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue uh -huh. against man or peace, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians, or the so-called Africans, or Amites, and Israel. See? So the Lord put a difference between us and those goddamn Africans. Yeah. Hey, those ain't our people. They show me I can point it too, man. Because, hey, man, hey we, don't, we don't walk around uh, letting say, cows piss on our head, man. They say they we, don't, no. we, we don't put all them goddamn things like through our laughing. nose and through our face and man, all that shit. Hurt, you know, you know, know. We don't do that shit, man. That's right. You know? Uh, hey, hey, can you get the, uh, you the one in Exodus? What's that? Uh, the yeah, let's stay right, because that's why the women are more like That's the spirit. I just This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art and holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. And that's separation, man. So people come up here and be like, y'all racist, y'all teaching racism. Hey, the Lord are racist, man. He for his people. He said that, read that again. I for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are a holy people unto the uh, unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, because that's his name. The father's name is Yahweh, which is right here in the paleo. And his son's name, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shah. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, the Lord God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto so himself. The, so the Lord God chose us to be a chosen people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all the people that above are above all the people. So we above all these fucking people, man. Every last one of them. You know? Right. And what you know what proves that? Look at Michael Jordan. Look at uh Mayweather. Look at soccer. Who dominating soccer? Our Northern Kingdom brethren. The so-called Mexicans, the so-called Cubans, the so-called Puerto Ricans, they dominate soccer. Who dominate ba uh, baseball? The same people who dominate basketball. It's UFC. Who same ball? Who dominate UFC? Who dominate right? You know who dominating all the sports? Look our it. people, man. Well, Entertainment. Yeah, because we're better. Because <laughs> we're, right we're better, man. The Lord yeah. made us better we're than better these people. Better than them, man. That's how you know we are the Israelites, man. Yep. Hey, you, oh, yeah, hey you, listen to, you listen to a song from a brother, you can groove to it, man. You listen to a song from a cracker, you know what I'm saying? It's, he's screaming for, for three, for five minutes. God. Hell yeah, until he killed his mom and his brother. He's <laughs> <low. laughs> That's, that's how they do themselves. <laughs> have you noticed the difference in the comedy? You can listen to a Jake all day long and just be crying, stomach hurt. But when you listen to one of these devils, it's like, uh, when is the joke coming in? Right. What about church, though? Even though you're not supposed to go to church. Even though you want to laugh at this shit, that ain't funny. I know what you're yeah, talking about. Right, man. right. But, uh, <laughs> even in church, even though you're not supposed to go to no church, but I'm saying in the black church, you know, yeah. they got they got all of that. They jumping yeah, around. They, they got, got organists. They, they, they got singing. Yeah, man. You know, in the white it church, it's, it's all money. We ain't supposed to go to uh, church. Uh, no, yeah. no. Cause Cause the they scripture says, I mean, I said that they put me out of church like about a month ago. And that's good. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Good. The scripture says, uh, I believe it's Acts 17, it says, The most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Right. The so Lord ain't in these buildings, man. God, he was quoting that from Isaiah. But, because in these churches, are they teaching? Are, did they did they tell you was Israelite? Did they tell you anything that we just told you? No, they did. That's what they offered, man. Exactly. They teaching lies in the church. You know. Yeah. Basically, hey, the Lord in Isaiah, the Lord called them uh, the churches whorehouses, man. I got you. What? Uh, Acts 17 and 24. God, well, Yahweh that made the world and all things therein. Seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and of earth, dwelleth not in temples made with man's hands. See? So the Lord's spirit don't dwell in no temple, man. So when people talk about they going to church to meet God, what God you meet? Not the God of the Bible. Because he just said he don't dwell in temples made with hands. Right. You know? Uh, yeah. Verse 25. Neither is he worshipped with man's hands as though he needed anything. Seeing he give a he giveth to all life and breath and all things. So the Lord is basically saying he don't, 
even, hey, even the hands you, you built it with, man. He don't, yeah. he don't need it, man. Hey, God is the God of the living, man. You yeah. know, ain't no building gonna, gonna, gonna house the Lord. Yeah, man. The Lord wants something that's... Hey, the that, Lord that's, in that building right there. It's lively to worship him. him. Oh, 13, yeah. 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 A building uh, can't contain him, man. First yeah. Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the, of the Most High? Yeah. And the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? And that's only talking to Israelites, man. Yeah. You are the temple of the Most High. Yeah, you the temple. So, right, so, right. so when you do things to defile your temple, you going against the Most High, man. So we got our people walking up and down, they smoke. Yeah. You ain't supposed to uh, uh, smoke, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that, man. I've been sitting like a motherfucker. Uh, but I ain't, hey, hey, you know. Sure you can, man. But you can change though. But you can, right? You can change, brother. Yeah. Repentance. In order to repent, it means to turn to turn away from yeah. what you've been doing. See, right. these people go to church on Sunday. Oh, I'm going to repent and say sorry. But they go to church yeah. on Sunday. Then Monday through Saturday, they do the same shit yeah, again. That's, that's phony. And then no. But I just go to pass the daughters. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You was clapping to pass the daughter. Yeah, yeah. Them hoes, the hands biggest freaks too. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a blessing, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, all the, hey, I used to smoke. That brother used to smoke. Hey, brother, hey, I used to smoke. Hey, smoke. Yeah, he was yeah, my man. weed man when I was in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know, him, I used to go to him and get weed. Drop the bomb, huh, but baby? See, hey, hey, but see, once I heard this word, yep. you know, the most high set, set, set that uh, mindset in me and got me on the right path. Ooh, right. And I started studying the scriptures. <laughs> and like the scripture says, man, through watching of the word, you are made, uh, you become a new person. Right, right, right. So right. now I'm not that old nigga I used to be. I don't right. think like how I used to or none of that. I don't do the shit I used to do, you know? Right. Everything I do is according out these scriptures. Yeah. Because right. sin is transgressing of the law. So if you sin it, then that mean you're breaking one of the laws. First John right. So eating swine is a sin. You're not supposed to eat pork, shrimp, lobster, crab. What? Yeah, yes. Man, you got them pork chops to be a bomb, man. Turkey chops, that's a sin. But yes, you got turkey chops, brother. Right. You got lamb chops. You can eat deer. Turkey you can eat goat. Bro, it's Venison so is amazing. Animals that you can eat, man. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? Uh, First of all, you're supposed to eat things that your body is, that, that eat things that your body come from. Like, you, when you die, your body turns into the soil, right? Right. Why would you eat something that doesn't eat from the ground, that you turn into? It's eating other animals. You know what I'm saying? A pig, a pig, if it's child, if it's baby What if it ain't animal, though? If the, if the pig's you, baby died, then the pig will turn around and eat the dead baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you, right. you can put that in your body. Yeah. Hey, shrimp, shrimp, crab, and lobster, they eat shit from off the bottom they of the ocean. Right. The pig is the king of the farm. Yeah, man. So, so you're supposed to eat things that, that eat of eat of things that come from your body. What you are made of. They eat of the grass. Mm -hmm. The they say, you know, grass don't taste good, good, man. Yeah. Well, 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 well when it gets in that animal, animal, it do. Because it oh, it's getting okay. nutrients. Oh, I get what you're going And you it's going. good for that animal because it's full of chlorophyll. That's right. Okay? So, I was so that, and though. if you eat that, that means it's good yeah. for you. His yeah. meat is good. Yeah, it's stuff that animal. Lucky. It's stuff that animal from getting diseases, man. That's right. You know? That's right. That's why they clean animals, man. Oh, and there's a point. A cow has seven, six stomachs. Seven, seven stomachs, and he can he can he study digests his food. A uh, uh, pig, when it eats, it only digests the food within like a few hours. So yeah, that, that, poison, that poison is still in his system. And yeah. then when they slaughter him and kill that meat, that that his meat is still poison. Yeah. And pigs so you don't said if we eat the pig here. Yeah. Pigs yeah. don't. Don't or pig feed so No, none of that Nothing. shit. Man. No, we, we don't get this. Hey, way, and brother. pigs don't sweat. You know, pigs That's don't right. have pores. They don't sweat. They yep. don't get all the toxins that they eat. They don't release. It just goes. It becomes a part of their flesh. Right. You sorry, man. You just we, we don't that, get this. And last pigs. Is, come on. Be study, man. It's all in there. Yeah, all in there, brother. Because when you because when you flock it, brother. Because when you um you look at a dog, when a dog is sick. You ever seen a dog go eat grass? Yeah. A dog yeah. can eat that grass to get that chlorophyll right, so it can bro. heal him. Right. And then he'll throw it back up. Now, that's the, now that, that's the same thing that uh, the cows, the deer, the sheep, the goats, all the animals that eat grass, they do. It naturally yeah. cleans their body. So that's clean meat that we eat. 
So when you eat that meat, that meat is clean, which you, hey, which that saying is, you are what you eat. That's right, bro. That's why our people got diabetes. That's why they got high, uh, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? That's why they have heart attacks, because they eat that goddamn pig. Now that pig, like the brother said, don't have sweat glands. It don't sweat. So when you sweat, that's the sodium leaving your body. So all that, that sweat is piled up in that pig and it's meat. So that's why it's already salty. Plus you add Jake, they put the flavor on it. So that shit is extra salty. You know? That, and, 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 that, and, that, and that meat is already, like the brother said, is it's, it's polluted. Right. Hey, you know, my mother has high blood pressure. Her doctor told her she can't eat pork. Hey, hey that's, a, that's a point there. Why is it when you eat when you eat pork, as soon as you eat pork and you, you come down with a disease, you go to the doctor, guess what he tells you? Stop eating pork. Lay off that bacon. You wasn't supposed to be eating in the first place. And as the brother said, uh, as the brother said earlier. So, no, y'all eat pork? No. no. As the brother Somebody said, Somebody man, I'm telling you, man. Uh, man. Somebody ate a pork chop around his mouth. Right here, we got turkey chop. I don't even uh, touch it. Hey, listen, listen, like the brother uh, said earlier, that the, the uh, pig doesn't have Jake. plans, right? You, you mentioned right. pig feet, right? Okay, guess where all the toxins and poisons come out of the pig at? And his hoof. His feet? It's his feet. That's what it, he's got a gland up under his hoof. That's where all the toxins come out, like a, like a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, um, pus set. That's oh. in his hoof, a pus set. Man, you gotta uh, check us in the house, man. Well, well, up, man. We, we just informed you, brother. After you, Are you serious, today, though? After, yeah, bro, yeah, man. Yes, go look it up for yourself. <laughs> okay, yeah, hey, hey, you tell us for yourself, man. You know, okay, we, okay, well, we, just, we, just, we just informed you. Brother, we're gonna read, 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 read this right here in Leviticus. This is Leviticus chapter 11. I'm gonna start at the. Uh, the second verse, and I'm going to skip to what we're talking about. It says, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Yeah, because you know when the church they tell you that scripture changes. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed like and cheweth the cud among the beasts, See, that shall ye eat. They feet look right. like this. You can't part of the hoof. That's what it means, part of the hoof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So a deer foot, a cow, goat, sheep, you know, elk. So you ain't supposed to mess with the pig at all. At all. No, we're about to get to that. And it also says chew with the cud, which is the cud is talking about the grass. Yep. It grazes. Now this is verse 4. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the hook. Good. And we're going to skip to verse 7. And the swine. You know what swine is? Yeah, that's what we just talking about. That. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. See, he he is grass. unclean. So he's unclean to you, meaning you don't eat him. You don't touch him. Because he's, he's, he's the Lord's garbage disposal. Yep. Yeah. In the ancient world, when they had a battle, 10,000 men versus 10,000 men, you think they sent somebody out there to pick up all them damn bodies? Yeah, no, that's no they, just, they just let the pigs out. And the pigs would go eat up all that bullshit. Yep. Because anything you feed a pig, it'll eat it. Anything you feed a pig, it'll eat it. Anything you feed a pig, it'll eat it. So I come on mom and law that motherfucker, you gonna eat it. Yes. When I live down south, I got chased by wild pigs. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, they call them racerbacks. I got chased by wild pigs, like a pig. Wild come out the water. Yeah, and you know, you have to jump in the back of somebody's pickup truck. Because he will eat you, man. He will eat you. Yeah, they actually, they actually be, be snapping at you, man. You know, a pig? Yeah. 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 Bro. I thought you just make that funny ass okay. sound. And what the mafia used to do? When you want to get rid of the body, they show you in the movies all the time. They have farms and they have farms with pigs. When they kill somebody, they, they go throw the body in there with the pigs. And the pigs are eating. Oh, hell yeah. And the pigs are eating. I saw the movie last night. He right, too. <laughs> hell yeah. A pig is so advanced that whatever it eats becomes a part of its DNA within eight hours. So if it eats a, if it eats a human, that, that human, that pig becomes a part of that human. So when you eat that pig, you eat 
part of human DNA, man. Mm. Did you know that? And, and the pig right, is the right, only right. the pig is the only animal that carries a tape line that, that can bust through your through your uh, uh, your uh, your gut, your intestines. It, it, it can bore through your intestines and send seeds through your bloodstream that can pass the blood brain that's barrier. A, that's a vibrating. And, and and you know what? I can't think of it. I can't think of the name of it. You know what I'm saying? I never seen the Bible. Yeah, I know it's okay. Yeah. You never seen the Bible talk about it. Yeah, three, yeah, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, Starting where it says, that's when I eat it. Okay. Seven. This is Leviticus 11, starting at the fourth verse. Nevertheless, okay, these shall ye not Leviticus eat. Leviticus 11 gives you the animals you can eat and the animals you're not supposed to eat. Go ahead. Nevertheless, if the, if the Bible was rewritten, how can we trust the people that rewritten the Bible? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? In the Old Testament, they ain't talking about no pig at all. The Old Testament is talking about the swine right that's now. That's not the Old Testament. That's a rewritten Bible. What, what do you mean rewritten? I'm gonna ask you again. What do you mean rewritten? Rewritten by a person who's trying to lead you That's about a pig that ain't got nothing to do with it. Where are you getting us. this information from? Same information from the category of the people that you're talking to. Leviticus is in the Old Anyway, Testament. read again, man. <laughs> this is verse 4. Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the hook. And we're going to skip to verse 7. And the swine. And the swine. Well, so what's that? What is swine? Do you know? The Old Testament don't talk about it. So I'm going to ask you again. Do you know hey, right hey, now? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Slack, the wicked man going to sleep, bro. Hey, 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 my man. Let the wicked man flee. No, because I was going to ask his ass. Can you read this? No, he don't huh? even know what swine yeah, is. No, he can't so possibly read public. that. So how he know? Because <laughs> I hate dumb ass niggas. Oh, the Bible was rewritten. It was rewritten. Hey, yeah, come back. I called you a dumbass nigga. Reread it, man. Read this for me. What this say? What this say? You got a lot of anger what this say? It's a Bible. What this say? The scripture says be ye angry and sin not. What this say? What this say? Yes, my people are sodish. Stupid children. Yo ass, man. The dumbass what is this say? The voice of the prophet. What does this say? What does this say? Oh, yeah. 
Second uh, Peter 2 and 16. But was rebuked for his iniquity. But was rebuked for your iniquity. The dumbass. He asked five and one. Baba Kushat. The dumbass. Speaking with his hands. You were listening. That's why we out here. Go again. Well, yeah, the dumbass, got a Bible uh, in his hand, speaking ignorant. with man's voice, Ooh. forbade not the madness of the prophets. Ooh. It's a good thing the Bible say don't believe people who false teach and false preach. But you said hey. the Bible was rewritten, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 right.